The intense ultrasound therapy system provides physicians the functionality of targeting, treatment, and monitoring of therapeutic effects using a single, minimally invasive device. A single patient use end effector contains variable focusing capability, enabling the physician to perform precise in C2 treatments at a distance while not destroying intervening tissue. The platform supports many end effectors designed for multiple therapeutic procedures and clinical specialists. The system is compact, cost effective, simple to operate, and can be used in multiple treatment locations within the therapeutic environment. The first applications are for oncology treatment, enabling earlier and more effective therapeutic interventions, improved local control of disease, and improved quality of life. There is very large and growing liver cancer incidence throughout each of the major regions of the world. There are also major unmet clinical needs associated with the current ablation of unresectable primary hepatocellular cancer and cancer metastases in the liver. The unmet need is to ensure that targeted tissue is destroyed and that surrounding healthy tissue and structures are not damaged by the ablation procedure. While multiple treatment modalities are used today for local in situ liver ablation, image-guided radiofrequency ablation is the primary competitive benchmark driving our development efforts and commercial planning activities. Our preliminary product definition includes the C-Treat therapy system. It contains reusable imaging probes for laparoscopic and transabdominal imaging and a single patient use image therapy probe. The functionality in this system will position it as the replacement ablation modality. It promises more complete tumor ablation for existing procedures and enables treatment of patients not treatable today. Single patient use therapy end effectors will be premium priced. An additional option under consideration is a treat-only system. It may enable us to enter the market sooner and gain valuable experience with the technology, customers, and procedural applications. The platform can then be used to develop and launch additional products. During the rest of 2002, the team will evaluate and report on the complete commercial, regulatory, technical, and clinical requirements for each available option. Technology development activities will continue on both options, and a definitive commercial launch strategy will be outlined in the January 2003 Product Charter Milestone.